What is up, guys? Thank you for checking out another Guido stacking video. In this video, we are going to cover the three most hated silver coins in America. We're going to go from three to two to one, the number one most hated coin in America. Silver only. We'll do the gold in a separate video. Coming in at number three, this is going to be the most complicated of the three, and that is a group of coins. It is going to be African silver coins in general, with the exception of two, and I'm going to tell you which ones in just a second. So Scottsdale Mint is notorious for making a lot of these African silver coins also, a lot of the smaller island nations, they do a lot of those as well. Those are also not very good in the secondary market. But these African coins um, have a lot of things that people just don't like. If you ever heard of Blue Nile, Blue Nile is a company that's not a sponsored video, by the way, that sells conflict-free diamonds that are mined um, in Africa and wherever. I don't know where they get them, but they're conflict-free. One of the main, and I don't know if it's a misconception. I don't know if it's true. I'm going to be honest. If you know the whole deal, put it down in the comments. I don't know. One of the things I have heard over the years about a lot of these African minted silver coins, even though they're not minted in Africa, um, is the mining. So they a lot of people feel that there's child labor and humanitarian issues with the mines in Africa that are mining the, the metal, the silver, the gold, whatever it is, the copper, so on and so forth. And they think that buying these coins is almost like supporting that type of uh, behavior over there in Africa. So there is a humanitarian issue with them. Um, and a lot of people don't buy them strictly on principle alone. So that has hurt a lot of those African uh, series. Besides that, it's kind of hard to get into a series uh, when there's so many. You have the African lions, you got the Somalia elephants, the Somal Somalia leopards, the Congo gorillas, the, I don't even know. There's so many, but regardless, there is two that are the exception. Um, one, 100% and that is the Somalia elephant. I will go as far as to say that this is one of the most underrated series out there. And the reason being, they come out pretty cheap, not like a lot of the Scottsdale uh, mint coins. They come out much, much cheaper, not as big of a premium and they do appreciate there is enough people that do collect these one of the things that makes these more attractive than a lot of the scottsdale mint stuff is first off they don't have that scottsdale mint look you could once you've been doing this for a long time you could look at a coin and say scottsdale mint made that or this mint made that or perth mint you know um, they have their own look. They are minted in Germany by the Bavarian Mint. So they are not minted by Scottsdale Mint. And they are made in Germany. So that's one of the things that's attractive about them is that they're made in Germany. Um, and if you look, just go on eBay. I have sold some of these uh, specifically in the early 2000s year uh for 300 anywhere between 200 to 300 dollars there is some massive key dates the series has been going on for a long time and that's also very important i don't know exactly when it started but i do know it they go back into the 90s so they've been around for a while and that is important it is why one of the reasons why the kookaburras are what they are because that has been a long series and the pandas um, we're doing well at one point as well. 
because of the longevity. We'll get into that a little bit later. But uh, I like these a lot. They are super underrated. Like I said, the premium is low when they are first released. Buy some 2023s and wait till the 2024 is released. And you'll see that the premium will slowly, gradually start to go up on the 23s. They are a good series. They change the design every year. Um, I like them a lot. And right behind that is the Somalia Leopard series, which is another one. Uh, this series is younger than the Somalia Elephant series, but I still like that series a lot. I think it's great, and I think it has just as much potential as uh, the Somalia Elephants have shown. Coming in at number two is going to be a coin you all should be familiar with. And this is going to be a straight up bullion coin. Number two, America's most hated coin is the Philharmonic from Austria. Man, do I have trouble selling these. As you guys know, I am a full-time bullion dealer and I have probably sold a hundred of these. That is it in my career as a bullion dealer. There is zero interest in these. For the same price point, you can buy a Britannia instead of one of these. And the Britannias actually ever so slightly change the design. Now, more recently, they have added a security feature on all their coins. So even more security than the Philharmonic, and yet the prices are comparable. Another thing, the Britannia is reeded. These are not reeded edges, as you can see. And uh, that can be considered a security feature. The reeds on a coin are a little bit harder to make than a flat edge like that. So, And it also prevents people from shaving off. Nobody actually does that anymore, but that is the point of the reeds. Um, on top of that, they have a massive issue of milking, and it has not stopped since they were first made in 2008. Um, that is part of the problem. I'm not saying Britannias don't have the problem. They do. But nine times out of ten, a roll of Philharmonics, if you don't open them after a while, then you go, look, they will have milk. Man, I have experienced it several times. Almost every roll I've owned of Phil's has got milk at some point. At least one or two coins. And what that does is completely diminishes the value they are now worth melt uh some dealers won't even pay melt because they're they're gonna try and sell it for melt so you're buying these cheap but then they milk and now you're losing money so a lot of people have preferred to buy at the same price point britannia's or the kangaroos that are much much uh better quality control than these philharmonics at least when it comes to the milking so, yeah, these are definitely number two. I've always had trouble selling them, and uh, people just do not like them. They just don't. That's the bottom line. Whenever I give them options, even if they're 25 cents cheaper, most people will pay the extra 25 cents to get the Britannias or the Kangaroos. That's just the reality of it. So, there you go. Number two most hated coin. Sorry, but it's the boring Philharmonic that is always the same design. Even the maple has changed their design ever so slightly, but this one has not since 2008. Same design. Boring. All right, number one, and this one hurts me particularly. If you look at my uh, previous videos from long, long time ago, uh, you will see that I was a huge fan of these coins, and that is the China Panda. It breaks my heart, guys. It really does. Um, I know there's a lot of political things with China. I get it. And that is why these are the number one most hated coin in America right now. Because of that, a lot of the political uh, issues. So a lot of people on principle, kind of like the African coins, will not buy Chinese coins. I get it. I get it. But besides that, why are they now the number one most hated coin? Uh, for one thing, 
right there, 30 grams. They are no longer a full ounce of silver, which is just flat out annoying, to be honest. It's a weird denomination. They still charge um, the full premium of a one ounce coin. And I do understand, um, and I don't know if many of you know this, there's a big importation tax on these coming from China. So right away, before they even become on sale, they are uh, already going up in price just to get here in the States. So that's why they have a big premium. But the amount of collectors have has slowly dwindled um, with the combination of them dropping down to 30 grams and uh, more political tension with China has definitely hurt these coins 100%. That's probably the killer of these coins. But myself, I used to collect a MS-70 of every year, and then I stopped. As soon as they started doing the 30 gram, lost interest. Now I only do the raw ones. That's it. These coins had such potential. It's just a shame. They change the design every year. And, um, you know, they're gorgeously made. You can't deny that. No matter where your political views are, you cannot deny the fact that they are very well done and um, just beautiful coins. The last couple designs have been a little bit lackluster. That can also be affecting the series. And uh, probably the number one killer is the amount of counterfeits that come out of China. They are easily counterfeited. And there is many of them. So that is another reason why these are the number one most hated coin in America. I don't know why I keep saying it so dramatic. But so there you go, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Let me know if I got this list right or if you think it should have been done a different way or coins, uh, other coins should have been on the list. If you like this video, please subscribe. I will be doing more like this. And definitely hit that like button before you leave. It takes one second, just a little click. And I will talk to you guys later.